Hey everybody, Chef AJ here, and today I'm going to show you how to crisp an entire head of cauliflower using the Mealthy Crisp Lid. So, first thing I did was I steamed an entire head of cauliflower. I used this Tupperware micro steamer, or maybe it's called the Smart Steamer, I'm not sure. If you're interested in getting one, my friend Kurt, also known as Ann Cassie, sells them. His email is paddedproductions at yahoo.com, but it's great for steaming vegetables when you have more than one pound. So this is an entire head of cauliflower, and in my microwave, it took about 16 minutes. You always wanna make sure that you put some water on the bottom. So my whole head of cauliflower is steamed, and now I'm going to transfer it. I hope it doesn't break, because I'm doing this myself. Ay, 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 that's... Come on, there we go, perfect. Into the rack, it comes with the meal fee, crisp lid. So there's my beautiful steamed head of cauliflower. What's really neat about the meal fee crisp lid is that it can work on any pressure cooker. So yes, they do sell their own wonderful multi-pots, but if you have another brand, I happen to have the Instant Pot, it will work on that as well. So the first thing you wanna do is take the rack that comes with it, and insert it into your pressure cooker. I'm using the eight quart because the six quart isn't deep enough to hold an entire head of cauliflower. I showed you in another video where I made air fried potatoes in the six quart, but to do the cauliflower, I need a bigger instant pot or pressure cooker. So now I'm going to place my cauliflower on top. And remember, you're not using your pressure cooker except for the base, you don't plug it in at all. So I'm going to season it. I'm trying to decide between these two seasonings. I make my own blend of ranch seasoning for my ranch dressing. If you want that recipe, be sure to subscribe to me on YouTube because I'll be doing a video showing how to make your own DIY ranch seasoning mix. But I'm thinking maybe I will use this seasoning, which I really like. It's a pepperoni spice, salt-free, non-irritated, GMO-free from a company called Local Spicery. And if you want to get some of their seasonings, you use the code Chef AJ, and they have a wonderful spiced gingerbread as well. And so I'm just going to sprinkle this on the top. I think it'll be absolutely delicious because I've made air fried cauliflower before, just, uh, you know, florets using this seasoning. This is also really, really good on mushrooms, this seasoning. It's, it really tastes like pepperoni pizza. Sorry about the camera work, guys. There's nobody here to help me today. And, oh, that's already looking good, but you know what's gonna happen is it's gonna get nice and crispy in this. Oh, this, I could eat the whole thing. I will probably. It's only a couple of pounds of cauliflower. That's not much. All right, so. That looks like a good amount of seasoning. Yeah, what's a little bit more, right? Okay, oh, it smells so good. All right, so now you put the lid on top. The lid has to be plugged in, but remember, you're not plugging in the pressure cooker. When this handle is down, it's on, and you always wanna be really careful that you always put the hot lid here on the silicone mat that comes with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the lid down, which engages it. 400 is the temperature I want. This little button is the temperature button. And so what that does is it will turn the temperature either higher or lower. So I'm gonna do 400. And then this button here that looks like a clock is the timer. And so it doesn't, it looks like too long. Is that three minutes or five? I'm going to do 20 minutes. I like things really, really crispy. So then when you're ready, you push this button right here. And you can see that it's lit. It's starting to heat up. And I'll come back in 20 minutes and show you what it looks like. All right, so there is 10 seconds left. It's really cool how you can see inside. So you can see if it's burning or anything like that. There we go. Just always lift this lid up, not lid handle, this makes it stop. Always carefully place it on your trivet here. And let me take this out. Look at how beautiful that looks. Wow. Now how do I get this basket out? Maybe I'll use these tongs. Sorry, I'm doing this by myself. I should have asked for a helper today. Ah 
I gotta hold the camera, sorry. I am not a camera person, so let me just put this over here. Look at that. This looks absolutely beautiful. What you're seeing here, I don't believe this is burned. This is where the spices were concentrated. But look at this, guys, a whole head of beautiful, crisp cauliflower. Just make sure that if you use this technology that you have a stainless steel insert. Doesn't matter what company pressure cooker you have, whether it's a six quart or eight quart, but I interviewed the founder and CEO, Bernardo. That interview is on this YouTube page. And he said, you cannot use a nonstick or a stainless steel insert. It's just not safe. You want to always make sure it's a stainless steel one in the company. Milfi sells them for, I believe, $25 on their website. I'll provide a link to the crisp lid. The crisp lid is not available on Amazon. They didn't have enough inventory for that. He says they are close to selling out, so if you want one now, get it. Get it as soon as possible. It's really kind of fun, really cool, and, uh, and you can enjoy delicious air fried food without the oil and without taking up a lot more space on your counter if you don't have counter space. All right, take care, and just remember, eat your veggies.